Comelec said no, no extensions this time. Okay, so let's talk about what should be contained in the statements. Are you, are you, you're okay, Evan? Okay. Actually, it's a stressful day. This is I'm the sure last this day is the last filing. day with no extensions. Yes, and uh, we haven't had enough sleep in the past few days. We've been servicing clients and... Uh, Many will not be able to make it by the deadline. Okay, so we have they have to state here all their contributions for election funds, right? Yes, it, contributions and expenses. Meaning no anonymous donors are allowed. They're even requiring the TIN numbers of all donors. Only now are they realizing that uh, sending money to a candidate is not that easy because the BIR will be hot on your trail. You have to submit a report that uh, you have contributed to a candidate and then they'll get your TIN and uh, it's going to be properly recorded. So all asset, all the received contributions, also all expenditures there. Now my question is, will the COMELEC be sifting through this or will it be merely ministerial as long as it's submitted? Or will COMELEC have the right to say, wait, I saw your ads, they would have cost more than this. Can they do that? When they filed uh, cases to the 785 candidates in 2015, they were using a manual sifting, shift, sifting process. But uh, this year, uh, candidates are required to submit an electronic copy of their reports. So the sifting is going to be automated. And we suspect that within the year, many will be called uh, for overspending, underreporting, or non-reporting. Uh, it's going to be a difficult year for candidates. And the problem here is the penalty involved. So we're talking about... 30,000, that may not be much of a penalty for them, but the problem is they could be disqualified from sitting in office. But this is only for second time offenders, right? Actually, uh, if you have, of you have uh, created a second offense, you could be disbarred. But uh, even in your first time filing, if you have overspent, that is enough for you to be disqualified. Overspending, or if you took a wrong donation, or if you spent uh, something unlawful. So you could get eliminated right away. Right, because the limit the limit of spending was um, actually very low. You had around 500 million. I think here we have the election spending yes. limit. This is per this is per registered voter. Yes. And when the when that was completed, it came around to around just 500 million per candidate for president and vice president. Now you say, heaven, that there are a lot of candidates that may not be you know that may be in trouble because yes. of this. Why so? At the national level, it's very easy to see because uh, everything's advertising, uh, media placements, it's easy to count. Radio, but, TV. Yeah, right. but at the local level, some candidates for mayor, for example, have a spending cap of 22,000 pesos. So 22,000 pesos is not going to make you a mayor. Sometimes you have encountered uh, clients that spend uh, 100 million pesos, but their spending cap is only a million pesos. So physics-wise, you can't fit 100 million in a 1 million hole. But my question is, because this is for winners and losers alike. They have to comply with this. But among the winners so far, are you seeing people who may not be able to sit because of this, because of this issue? Uh, you will be able to assume office because uh, when you file your SOSE today, or uh, uh, today, they'll just give you a certificate that you've submitted. But Comelec will now review it. Uh, it took a governor in Laguna several years, a year and, uh, and a half to be disqualified. But now we see that uh, you will assume Probably office. Probably the only case, right? the only big case where that happened. Uh, there are 785 cases, but the Still law department pending, right? is the one uh, actually making the cases uh, run through its process. So it's a different unit. It's not only the campaign finance office. We will see a lot of candidates going to be disqualified faster. Who's... Whose sauce are you very interested in seeing because you know that that person spent more than the limit? Among all of the candidates, uh, only Grace Po did not have a political party. So her spending cap is only 10 it's pesos. It's lower, much lower. Yes. All the other candidates have 10 pesos and 5 pesos from the party, so it's 15 pesos. I'd like to see the sauce of the candidates and find out what they did not report. That's the common trend now. They're doing their 2013 style. They list all their expenses, and when they have overspent, they'll just cut it and not report the others. Many candidates are forgetting to report the card that they use, the uniform that they because use. Because this is not just in cash. This is both in cash and in kind. Yes. Donors also who are giving t-shirts, giving towels, they forget to record them. Donations in kind is also recorded. So at the end of office day, of business day today, once we find out, once we have all those filings, we will find out what you're going to do about those who you think did not file correctly. Thank you so Thank much, you Kevin. Much.